There's so much beauty in a sunrise and the birds chirping and the frost on a roof. Just seeing God's handiwork in all of these facets of life. Today, I am truly just going to share with you a day in the life as a home homemaker, a stay-at-home mom, and um, yeah, just gonna bring you along with me. So I am feeding my sourdough here as I will be making a sourdough pizza crust later this evening. I don't ever end up sharing that actually because we had guests come over and um, I just didn't pull my camera out. But anyways, that got done and then we'd been getting a little bit of the congestion and allergy like symptoms i guess so i'm just diffusing some lavender some citrus and some tea tree as well and it's just such a nice combination so set that up for the morning So I needed to refresh my pitcher of flowers. Some of them were looking a little droopy and some just needed to be trimmed up again. So just taking care of that because I truly love having flowers on my table, fresh plants in the house, and what better way than some $4 Aldi grocery store flowers, especially in the cooler months when we can't be growing fresh flowers outside. So I mentioned in my kitchen essentials that my food processor was one of my favorites and it absolutely is. It shredded that block of cheese in about the four or five seconds it took you to watch that and so that's also part of going on the pizza but I just I truly like having conveniences as a homemaker as well to make life more simple and easier so we can spend time doing things that are important with the people we love and that brings me to visiting our or my husband's warehouse my daughter got a strider for christmas and so we have it out there at the time being so she's just learning how to ride it and also i do have some seeds out there of broccoli and cabbage going because he has the most sun in his office um I'm inserting here just the planting process I did of it so I will probably share a seed starting video garden video at some point for you guys. <laughs> daughter enjoys sitting at the French doors and watching the dog play in the backyard just whatever is out there the animals and just good way to let her interact with the outdoors but inside and I think she was having a snack too so I just got a little bit of afternoon tidying done cleaning up after whatever mess we may have had left from lunch most likely so i yeah, just try to do this pretty regularly every day i definitely use a dry swiffer for sure um, and always wiping down a tray wiping down a table is <laughs> it's never ending sometimes but then during her nap time i made a fruit salad for the guests who came over too so i just took care of chopping some of that up while listening to a podcast. I believe today I was listening to the Homemaker Chic podcast, so that is a fun one. Um, and then just doing a quick five-minute bathroom wipe down, which is with just a vinegar water and Dawn um, or dish soap spray, just because I actually didn't have anything at the time. So just wiping the counters, the faucet, um, 
back of the toilet, the top of the toilet seat, and then getting a little bit of the floor. Like I've said in a previous video, when you have a little girl who uses a little potty chair on the floor, um, and there's a man in the house, most of you know, you know, the floor just needs a little wiping. Even if the bathroom doesn't look the greatest, I think keeping it clean helps it look more inviting. And when you have guests come over, a quick five minute wipe down is important. Again, I'm using some more Young Living products that I get and I love this luscious lemon and what a great scent for spring. So just refilling that foam soap uh, dispenser. So I got this hydrangea from Aldi yesterday. I think it's so beautiful. It'll be really pretty on our table and then to plant in the garden. My basil is coming up. Those two are basil. Lettuce and spinach is on the windowsill. And then tomato, peppers, and uh, what else did I plant? One other thing. They're kind of coming up teeny little seeds there uh, snapdragons that's what else I planted so it's getting there with the temperatures warming up I also put this quilt that I found at a garage sale last summer on the bed over top of a white comforter we have because our other comforter that you may have seen in my spring bedroom cleaning video was way too heavy especially being pregnant I get really hot at night um, but I'm in a little um, situation where I'm not sure exactly what throw pillows to put on the bed. I don't have any that match this quilt. And so I just have these vintage lacy pillowcases that I added to the bed. But I definitely want some something else because I think throw pillows are just so beautiful and inviting, especially on a bed. So if you've got some suggestions or places I can find some, please let me know. So some of my plants are coming up. I think this is a hyacinth. And then just some of my other ground covers coming up. I planted these bulbs last year. Spring actually. This one doesn't look like it's doing so good. Oh water. There's a few green things there. My chives always come up. <laughs> so some of the friends that came over they played spike ball in our yard and it was fun just to watch them through the window as I was cleaning up the dishes uh, for the evening. And then just giving Nevea a little bath time because when you're outside in the springtime, it's definitely bath time almost every night now. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed just coming along with me on this simple day in the life. I didn't show you much cooking or anything, but just wanted to um, share just the day that I had and hope you enjoy this spring season. Mm -hmm.